I just shipped an AI assistant that takes a Notion database URL and outputs an AI assistant that can interact with your Notion database. It works for arbitrary Notion database schemas, including fields like tags and URLs and emails. It's set up to use Anthropic Claude 3.5, but it also works with GPT 4.0 and it can be swapped out in a sec. To set this up, all you need to do is have an NetN account. You can host on, on NetN Cloud or self-host. You've got to have a Notion account and you're going to need an LLM. The first step to set up is to create a connection in our Notion account, share that with our database, and then import that into NetN. To do that, you're going to want to go into the settings here. And from here, you're gonna to want to go to My Connections, Develop or Manage Integrations, and we're going to want to create a new integration. We'll give it a name, I'll call it the Nathan Bot Workspace. This is the Notion Workspace. And then we can keep this to internal because we're not publishing this as an app and we don't have to add a logo, so let's just click Save. In the settings, we'll want to copy our internal integration secret here and we'll want to import it into NAM. So we'll go over into our NAM account, go over to credentials and then add credential. We'll search for Notion. We need to add the Notion API, not the Notion OAuth 2 API. And then we'll paste our key in and save it. So we now have the credential created in NAM, but we still need to share it with the actual database that we want to use. So NAM can access that database. So when you're viewing the database itself, you can go over to the ellipsis menu here go to connections and then search for that connection just created and add it. You can confirm. And now my connection can see this database. The next step is to import the workflow template into our NN account. So we can click this use workflow button and copy the template to our clipboard. I'll go over to my NN account. Here. I'll add a new workflow and I'll paste in the workflow template that I've got in my pasteboard. And we can see we've got a few different errors in my workflow. These are the steps where I need to add a credential so we can interact with that service. So the first one here is the Notion node that I need to add a credential. We'll add that Notion account that we just added. That's that connection that we created earlier in the video. There's nothing else that we need to change in here. We'll do the same with these AI chat models that my AI agents are using. So I'll open up this Anthropic model here and I'll pick my existing Anthropic account. Now, if you don't have an Anthropic credential on your NAN instance, what you can do is create a new one from here and you'll just have to supply the API key in here. That's out of scope of this video, but it's pretty straightforward to do. And then there's two more to set up. So just double click in here, pick my credential and do the same thing for this one here as well. And from here, this workflow should be ready to go so we can save it and activate it. Now that the workflow is activated, I can go into my trigger here and I can copy the chat URL. And if I open this in a new tab, we can now interact with the actual generator. So let's go to my sales CRM and copy the URL. Let's paste it in here and let's run it. Now from testing, this sometimes takes a minute or two even, depending on the complexity of your workflow. This process you only have to do one time as you set up your workflow that can interact with your specific Notion database. And from there, the actual chat assistant that you use to interact with your database will be fast. Great, it looks like the workflow ran. We can copy and paste this JSON output. So this is a workflow represented in JSON. I'll go back into NAN, create a new workflow. Let's name this. This is uh, my sales CRA assistant. Let's paste it in. We can see that it's added the workflow. We've got a few errors. Again, these are the credentials that we have to set up. So I'll double click on the Notion node. And in here, I'm going to pick the Notion account. We can see it's set up with my sales CRM. So that's working correctly. I'm going to do the same thing in my AI agent. I'll open up in here and in the Notion API drop down here. I also pick my Notion account. These are tools that my AI agent uses and they need to access the Notion account as well because they're interacting with your Notion database. From here, you can save it and you can test it already from here. We can test it before activating it from this button here. We can click the chat button and let's go into our sales CRM and let's see if we can pull up some information on Stan Alvarez. Um, show me info on
Okay, we can see it's outputted that Stan Alvarez is at Wondertrust and at Notion. If we go in here, we can see that is all correct. And it's also linking to that docs. You can always see the original source of truth. This is the first time I have run this specific workflow with this specific database. I've tested it on five other databases and it's worked on all of those so far multiple times. Once you've tested it and you're happy with your workflow, you can go ahead and activate it. And again, if you go into this workflow here and copy this link and go in a new tab, you can interact with your new database assistant. So naturally, some of the information you're interacting with here might be sensitive and you don't want this URL exposed publicly. So what you can do as well is add some authentication on top. For example, basic auth. And here you can create a credential where you define a username and password and there'll be a little pop-up. So for example, if I said here, it's user and the password is test and save that. If I go ahead and save the workflow now and try to access it here, I will now have to type in user and test with password to be able to access my sales CRM. 